Welcome to another episode of Where Should I Live in San Francisco. I'm Leila Ahmed Spahich with the Christian team. Join me today as I show you what there is to love about the Nopa neighborhood in San Francisco. Are you looking for a neighborhood in the center of the city, an area bordered by parks and trendy bars and restaurants? Welcome to North of Panhandle or Nopa. If you enjoy this video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more neighborhood and real estate videos. Nopa gets its name from the fact that it is the neighborhood just north of Panhandle, located between Fell and Oak Streets, east of Golden Gate Park. To the east, you have Divisadero Street, where you'll find some of the best bars and restaurants in San Francisco. Then to the west is Golden Gate Park and the Lone Mountain neighborhood. This neighborhood is a walker and biker's paradise. The streets are relatively flat, which makes bike riding with young kids super fun. Located along the Panhandle, Residents have easy access to all that Golden Gate Park has to offer and the amazing quality of life that comes with it. Divisadero offers a wide range of restaurants, bars, and shops to explore. Easy access to Haight-Ashbury, Coal Valley, Inner Sunset, and Hayes Valley. The homes in this neighborhood have that old San Francisco charm with classic Victorians and Edwardian buildings consisting mainly of condos. For those that love the outdoors, Nopa is a prime neighborhood. Its close proximity to Golden Gate Park, Alamo Square, and Buena Vista Park provides perfect outdoor retreats. Getting a good workout in is a breeze with all the easy access to trails within the park, recreational activities from pickleball to tennis to baseball to lawn bowling. And if culture and activities are important to you, the park offers a wide array of activities to stimulate the mind and senses. The De Young Museum and California Academy of Sciences are great places to spend your afternoon. With their ever-changing exhibits, you'll never have a reason to stay away for too long. Take a walk through the SF Botanical Gardens or the Rose Garden or admire the oldest public Japanese garden in the United States while sipping on some tea in the pagoda. On a clear day, you can take in views of the city and beyond from the newly installed Sky Star Wheel located between the De Young and Cal Academy buildings. Some neighborhood favorites include Nopalito for Mexican food. Their mole and tamales are a must try. Chefico and Horse Feather are both great places to grab drinks with friends. The Mill is a local favorite cafe, great for morning breakfast of freshly baked pastries and coffee. Nopa, the restaurant, is a must try. This is a popular dinner spot that specializes in wood-fired cuisine with local California ingredients. There are a few great public elementary schools in the area. New Traditions Elementary Schools are located in Nopa, and there is a Chinese Immersion School located on the other side of the Panhandle. And just on the other side of the Panhandle, you have a few great options for private schools. San Francisco High School of the Art, Urban School of San Francisco, and LFSF is a French Immersion School. Now, the majority of inventory in Nopa consists of condos, which make this area of San Francisco a bit more transient than the neighborhood areas like Coal Valley or Alamo Square, where the housing stock consists mostly of single family homes. Now, what does it cost to live here? Nopa is priced comparable to other centrally located areas of town. And generally in San Francisco, you pay a bit more for centrally located neighborhoods with good walkability and sun. We rate Nopa high for walkability, moderate for sun, and moderate for public transit. Now, if you're looking for a single family home in the neighborhood, there are few and far between. The average house sales price is currently $2.9 million. But since inventory is less common, you can see a big range in this price. So the average house price per square footage value is $1,067 per square foot. The average bedroom bath count is five bedrooms and three baths, and the average house size is 2,760 square feet. There are many two to four unit Victorian and Edwardian flats in the area. Many of them have an extra ADU or in-law unit that is built behind the garage. Average condo sales price is $1,450,000, the average condo price per square footage value is $1,070 per square foot. The average bedroom bath count is two bedrooms, one bath, and the average condo size is 1,390 square feet. Now, if you want to learn more about different areas in San Francisco or stay up to date on the San Francisco real estate market, please reach out to us at ruthkrishnan.com. And remember to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.